welcome back to local Fayetteville, Arkansas. What I mean, uh, you are home Instagram live. <laughs> uh, we're the student leadership team here. I'm Caroline. I'm the GA for student leadership. And my name is Cecily Essery, the coordinator for student leadership. Uh, we're here to help you learn how to uh, get involved outside the classroom. Um, we are here live from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Go ahead and let us know uh, where you guys are at in the chat. So please also feel free to ask questions during the segment today. Um, we will answer anything you got, almost anything you got. Yeah. If we have the answer. If anyone is asking, I am over six feet tall. I know it's hard to tell. Um, it's lighted, but. <laughs> She's also a liar. Let's take you inside. <laughs> Welcome to the housing office. It's right off of Douglas Street next to the bookstore. This is where um, you will have your student leadership programs. Well, where they will have those two leaders. Um, so we have our front desk. This is where, if you have questions about housing, you can come here and get assistance. Our favorite desk worker is Destiny. So um, not that we pick favorites, but come and see her if you have any questions. She will answer the phone always. <laughs> and now we're going to make our way back to where we have some of our student leadership office things. Um, this is where the residence education staff um, is housed. We don't live here. We have offices here. I live um, here. She does live here. She sleeps under her desk. I have, a, um, I have a tent and a sleeping bag and a hammock sometimes if I'm feeling fancy. That's probably accurate. Um, this is where my office is. So again, I oversee, well not again, we're meeting for the first time. Um, I oversee Lead Hogs, NRHH, and RIC. Um, she's our GA, so she helps. She's basically, we're, we are the same person basically. Mm -hmm. um, we do the same things. So my office is here. If you ever need something from me, just from a staff member or someone to help, let me know. Um, but you're really going to be looking for the people back here. They're way more fun. Way more important. <laughs> So, so, mm, you go. <laughs> so here we're coming up on the student leadership office, also known as the slow. Come on in. This is where we've got um, where our exec board works. So we've got RIC, which is Residence Center Hall Congress, NRHH, which is National Residence Hall Honorary. Um, and then some of our leadership RAs will come in here and use this from time to time as well. Um, so here we've got Kylie Bard. Hey guys. Sorry, I was just taking a nap under the desk. Um, so, this is the slow, like she said. I am the student leadership intern for this summer, so I get to work with all these super awesome student leadership programs. Um, and Caroline's gonna give us an overview of Lead Hogs. So Lead Hogs, um, you may have come to see us at orientation, or you may have seen us all over the Instagram, thanks to Kylie, or she's an influencer, at the end of the day is really what she's doing. Right. Do you wanna get got... an overview of the fit? Yeah. Oh yeah, the OOTD today. Um, so first of all, we're sponsored by NRHH and I have the super swaggy polo. Um, I know you're jealous. Um, maybe next year you can be the student leadership intern if you're cool. Um, and then Old Navy, of course, um, on the dress pants and then the Tevas, obviously. Um, so we're obviously sponsored by all of these things, mm -hmm. um, of course. Yeah. So true. Um, so I've got my, this is vintage Lead Hogs merch actually, we're switching up our design, so if you're able to cop one of these at some point, just know, um, it's vintage. Uh, these pants from the thrift store, recalculating, oh, okay. In case you missed the fit. Yeah, in case you missed the fit, okay, so, vintage Lead Hogs shirt, pants from the thrift store, probably $7, Birkenstocks from the 8th grade, um, they will probably last me a lifetime. So, speaking of Lead Hogs, um, Lead Hogs is our um, freshman leadership development program. Um, it's one of the first things you can do to get involved on campus because you can move in early, um, which is awesome, but ultimately you will meet Mondays um, from 6 to 7 p.m. Um, with your in-hall group, and once a month we'll all get together as like all of the on-campus Lead Hogs, um, and we'll do things like activities, or we'll have a guest speaker, um, and there will always be snacks, which is great. Snacks and swag, that's kind of what we're about. Snacks, swag, and leadership. Um, leadership anyway. if you're lucky. Yeah, um, <laughs> primarily snacks though. Um, right. So basically, um, you will have um, your RA advisor, you'll have your senior RA advisor, and one of the building coordinators. Um, you'll get to interact with them every week. Um, it's very student driven, so kind of whatever you and your peers are feeling, if you guys are super into service, we want to help facilitate service projects. Um, if you all want to plan events, we want to help you do that. 
Um, if you have like certain goals or educational things you want to learn about, we're help you. We're here to help you do that as well. Um, so it's all about you guys at the end of the day. Um, so that's kind of what we're here to help you do. So that's Lead Hogs. We also have um, Lead More, which is our program for transfer upperclassmen students. Um, so yeah, we've got that um, application. Kylie, you want to talk about the application? Yeah. So Caroline gave you the meat and potatoes, but let me give you the fork so you can figure out how to get in here. <laughs> let me just say. Priority application closes July 19th, so put it in your calendars. We put out a few reminders on Instagram, so make sure to add that to your little remind list. Um, by applying for that, you get the early move in that Caroline is talking about, so you can uh, go in there. Um, and then also, after you get accepted, you're gonna you're gonna enroll for that early move in, and then you're also going to see all of the dates of all of our new fun stuff we have coming up. But that application is super easy and simple. We have all the steps on one of our Instagram posts, and it's also on our website. If you have any questions, you can email us, leadhogs at uark.edu, DM our Instagram page, or go to our website, um, and all of those are going to have all the resources that you could possibly ever need to be a leadhog. Yeah, so when you get to campus, we're going to have um, quite a few events right away. So we're going to have our kickoff, um, which will happen during early move-in, which early move-in isn't required. It's a great way to get involved right away. But if you can't do that, no sweat. There's plenty of other things to do. So on August 10th, we've got our kickoff. That's where you're going to kind of like get oriented, learn about what Lead Hawks is all about, do some fun activities, meet some people, um, and then field day on August 13th. Um, that's where we're gonna have a lot of different activities outside in the evening though, so it won't be too bad. Um, and again, meeting people, um, it's a great way to spend your A week. Um, I know sometimes it's like super intimidating getting to college and having like no idea what to do, um, but that's kind of what we're gonna help you do is find some, find some things, meet some people, eat some free food and get some free swag. Um, and then we've also got one of our other A week activities um, kicks and giggles, you'll have to find out what that means. Um, that's on <laughs> August 15th. It's actually where you kick and she giggles. Exactly. Um, <laughs> you forgot the giggle. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, wait, try it. Wait, run it, run it back, run it back. Hey! Okay, so that's kind of what it's like. Um, and yeah, and then your RAs will be hosting some socials in your hall all throughout A week. Um, so once you get accepted, you'll get in a group meet. You're not going to miss anything, I promise. Um, you'll get emails, group meets, flyers, blah, 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 everything. You're not going to miss anything. Also, right now, you can join the All Lead Hogs group meet. As soon as you're admitted, um, there's lots of homies in there right now, and that'll give you all the updates, plus what's on the Instagram of what's to come. So yeah. Caroline, did you mention um, volunteering at Move-In? Uh, I, you know, I didn't really mention volunteering at Move-In. Um, so that is kind of one of the perks. You can move in early and then volunteer for Move-In, which, um, again, if you live in HOTS, you can move in early on August 9th, and if you live anywhere that's not HOTS, including um, some of the on-campus, off-campus apartments. Um, you can move in August 10th. Um, and then right away, you can help your fellow peers move in. So it's kind of a great way to acclimate yourself and kind of take ownership over your space right away. Um, you know, you can get to a residence hall, help people um, figure out where to go, move some boxes if you're feeling strong. Pass out some water. Look so at that muscle. Else pass out. <laughs> yeah, some water. It's going to be a great time. And ultimately, again, meeting people. That's all we want to help you do is meet people. So, yeah. Make friends. Mm -hmm. Speaking of meeting people, let's skip to RAC. Well, first off, do we have any questions in the chat? <laughs> no questions so far, but no? definitely pitch in, you guys, if you have questions. Please ask us questions. Oh my gosh, someone from No Alaska? Wow, welcome from No Alaska. Someone wow. in the chat. That's <laughs> so she far. Is so full of. Facts and Facts. stuff. Yeah. So let's jump to RAC. Yeah. Um, Super fundraisers. Um, talking about getting involved right away. So RAC is our on-campus student government. So it's different than ASG. ASG is covers all of the campus, all the students who are with us. Um, whereas RAC covers just the students who live in our residence halls and in the off-campus um, housing managed apartments. So in that case, um, we have positions to represent the on-campus student and um, you can become a rep if you run to become a rep and you get elected once you get here in August. So our um, lovely camera woman McKenna used to be a rep so if you've got she RAC, was a rep. So yeah, true. Got RAC questions. So. <laughs> McKenna why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience as a rep and maybe why people should join and become a rep. Absolutely. Can you flip it around? I can. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. <laughs> 
So welcome to your home live, first of all. Um, I used to be a rep last year. I'm going into my second year here at the University of Arkansas. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, pig suey. Um, and I definitely recommend RIC. For me, it was a great experience. I didn't think I wanted to join at first. And then one of our representatives for my dorm, I lived at Holcomb, shout out Holcomb, Woo! Um, couldn't participate anymore. And so I got to step in replacement for her. And I found so much more than I was looking for. I found a community and I found people that really supported me and I felt like really at home. And so because I felt so at home and I loved the, I the idea of having $42,000 to spread amongst the halls and use as you want, um, I decided to run to be an executive this year. And so if you join RIC, I am the executive of at PR. Um, so I'd love to get to know you. Yes, marketing. Yes, Woo! love it. <laughs> and yeah, so join RIC, but first join Lead Hogs because you will run and it will be amazing. And then you get to represent your hall and throw great things like mm -hmm. uh, Taylor Swift release parties. We had yes, several of yes. those last year and people loved them. Yes. So I'm gonna send it back your way. <laughs> Ooh, if right. I can. Oh. Flip, flip. Yay. There we Woo. go. So if you're interested, keep an eye out from emails from our RFC president. Um, if you've marked interest on the application, the Lead Hogs application that you're interested in, RIC or student government, we will send you an email. Um, but also just look out for information about those RIC rep positions. Um, they do run in August or for the positions. Do you have a question? Yes, we do. Yes. So can you do Lead Hogs and also participate in Rush? Great question. Um, so yes short answer yes um right at the beginning move in and some of our kickoff events um will conflict with recruitment a little bit um but once you kind of get going there are plenty of other opportunities throughout the year sometimes monday night meetings um transparently conflict with chapter um but we encourage you to apply anyway to keep your options open we're not interested in like kicking you out if you like need to miss meetings or whatever we want this to be a place that you can come back to um, so even if you're a little bit interested I suggest applying um, and kind of depending on where you live sometimes we try and offer um, a singular Tuesday alternative meeting um, if there's interest for um, an area of campus with like a higher Greek population um, but ultimately um, Mondays at 6 are kind of what you should bank on for meeting times um, so we want, we love our Greek students, we would love our Greek students to be involved, but we also recognize that sometimes there is a little bit of a like time commitment. Um, so we want to help you figure out how to do both though, if that's what you're interested in doing. So yes. absolutely. Okay. Um, back to talking about rep position. So um, if you're interested, again, the, the role is you go every Monday night after Lead Hogs to a house meeting. Um, where, as Kenna mentioned, you'll have $42,000 that you, as a representative, get to vote on. Um, people will show up and they will ask for funds or they will propose resolutions, which are proposing changes to campus um, that the exec board um, and our staff can help advocate for. And so those representatives say whether or not for their community, if that's a good fit um, and if it represents the on-campus student. So great experience. Um, Let's go to NRHH and then we'll go back to members. Awesome. Kylie, you want to talk about NRHH? I sure do. So this is one of my favorite student leadership organizations. Um, did anybody say service? Community service? Um, Woo! Service! service! Yes. So especially if you're a Greek life student or if you just like volunteering or you just want to get some service hours in, we do one service project a month and we try to do one recognition project a month as well. It's every other Thursday night. Um, and so that's going to be super fun and funky fresh. Um, so you should join. It's super chill. We also really like snacks at NRHH, mm -hmm. um, and it's really fun. And it's also flexible, like Lead Hogs and RIC. So we understand that you're also a student, um, and we are not really going to kick you out if you miss one meeting. There is some steps to get inducted, which is super fun. Um, you can find us on Instagram. You can find any of these organizations on Instagram. NRHH's is at UARC NRHH, and also Hogsync, our favorite bestie Hogsync. We haven't mentioned bestie. yet, but. That is going to be your bestie for literally any and everything um, Hogsink stand. But any of our events and any of NRHH's events, Lead Hogs events, whatever, you can also be a member on Hogsink. So you should definitely check that out. Um, and pick one. If you haven't heard of pick one yet, Caroline's going to tell you about it. So pick one um, is a like university-wide initiative to help you all um, kind of connect with organizations during a week. Um, so the concept is that you pick one. Um, so NRHH <laughs> is hosting a pick one event during a week. Um, you can uh, sign up for that by August 1st. 
Um, so what we're gonna be doing is building birdhouses, which is super cool. Um, that's a housing event. If I ever did see. Um, so anyway, you can join us, build birdhouses, learn what we're all about. Um, so there is, I think, pickone.uark.edu. Mm -hmm. yep. um, you can go to that website. We bought this wonderful graphic made by um, our uh, VP for Marketing and Communications, my Gushka, shout out. Um, <laughs> so definitely check that out. Um, it's another great way to kind of get involved and connected during a week. So, oh, I'm getting a message. Did oh. somebody say fundraisers? <gasps> so Someone reporting fundraisers. live from fundraisers. <laughs> <laughs> fundraisers, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a few things um, that we do to help fund these programs that we just told you about, um, specifically RIC and NRHH. Um, if you have seen any of the move in at uark or move in.uark.edu content or orientation. You might have heard about um, our room essentials program and our micro fridge program. So the room essentials program is where you can order things online on our storefront and those items like headboards, sheets, bedding, shelving, all those things are, um, you can buy them online and it will be in your room when you arrive. Um, my favorite thing is we have a guest who's lurking behind the corner. Um, I would like you to notice our guest appearance from Megan Witherspoon. Sorry, we're taking a quick commercial break. Oh, oh it's not is she transition. turning? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Megan is the master leadership. Queen. Shout out Megan. <laughs> She's our super, super boss, um, but we figured we would need to showcase her. So anyways, if you are interested in room essentials, order them before, hold on, before July 22nd. July 22nd, uh, make sure to do that. But we will hand deliver those items to your room. Um, we sort them, deliver them, all of that. What do you get with room essentials? What do you get with room essentials? Yeah, what like I what is? Whatever you want, whatever you dream of. Room. Yep, movein.uwork.edu, you can find the link. Um, and it, there's seriously anything for your room, it's all there. Yeah. It's um, great for bulky items because they will be in your room when we get there. So if you don't want to worry about things like rugs or lamps shelving, and stuff like that, yeah. shelving. Um, and, if and it's also far great. Away. Yeah, I would say if you're coming from far away, that's great. And if you just kind of need some dorm inspo in general, some residence hall room inspo, check that out as well. They have headboards. Do they have? Head they have there? Oh, they don't have micro fridges, but we sell micro fridges. Don't worry. Um, that is short for microwave refrigerator, <laughs> if you're wondering. Microwave fridge freezer. It's all one combo. Um, if you don't want to buy it and have to sell it and transport it, we got you. We will do it for you. So if you order before August 1st on our website, again, movein.uark.edu, um, it is about $200 for the year. Um, you, most people split it with their roommate because you can only have one fridge per room anyway. Um, Duncan, don't worry about it. You guys already have fridges, um, off-campus apartments. You also don't need one. Um, but it's a great deal. It will be in your room when you arrive. And if you have any issues with it, um, we just work, there's a work order system. You can submit that and we'll either come, have someone come replace it or come work on it. So it is the easiest thing ever. We have over 700 students do it each year and it gets, keeps going up and up. So yeah. Yeah. Um, care, package. care packages. Okay, so this is for your loved ones, people who love you. Send them a little information about this. Um, we do our care package program. Um, we do about six of them per year, so you can order them all at the beginning of the year, or you can decide and order them throughout the year. We will send, or someone can order them online for you, and they will deliver them directly to your students' room. So um, it's a great way to show that you care about someone. It has snacks, it has like little toys, all sorts of goodies. Yeah. So, and tell all your packages are available starting they were July 1st, so they've been available for a while. So, um, tell mom, dad, friend, family, or grandma, grandpa, aunt, um, stepdog to Step send dog. you um, a care package. Your cousin and sister's fish. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I one. forgot about them. Yeah, they, they're rolling in the dough. Yeah, <laughs> they can't they afford that. I actually had to go put on my other hat, guys, because I am also an RA. Ooh. It's the blue tape. Yeah. So, in case you're wondering, I'm also an RA in Palm Fruit. Shout out to Palmy. And Cecily's going to tell us about how you can be an RA. All right. If you're interested in being a resident assistant, those are our staff members who live in the residence halls on the floors um, with the residents and provide leadership, programming, resources. Um, they're just like a go-to person when you are new in college and you don't know what to do and you need some help. 
Um, they're also just like great community builders. If that sounds like something you're interested in at some point, or you just like want to be a leader on campus, first, join Lead Hogs because you get great experience. Um, doesn't mean you have to do Lead Hogs to be an RA, but it's just a great, great resource for that. Um, but if you're interested in that position, you can apply your freshman year to become a RA your sophomore year. Usually that process, you'll start finding details about that in about September, maybe early October, there will be interest sessions typically, and that's where you'll get information about the application um, and all the timeline for that. So really the best advice for being an RA, from my perspective, I'll get your guys' perspective in a second, um, is I really think just being a leader during your freshman year when you don't even have a leadership title, I think that really helps prepare you to be ready to have those interactions with students and be able to lead them. So just be, your, be a leader your freshman year and it'll set you up. Yeah, I think being super active in your residence hall, which obviously with lead hogs in RIC, you would be a very active member of your residence hall, but just making friends on your floor and talking, chit-chatting it up with your RA and your leadership RA because they're all super cool people um, and just asking them like, hey, what's your life like as an RA? Like, do you enjoy it? What's the fun parts? Going to all the events because every single hall is gonna have so many more events than you can ever dream of. We have mm -hmm. programs coming out of our ears. Um, <laughs> so attend all of them, even the ones that are in your hall, all the campus wides, go to all of those and see all of the housing things. And then I'll give you a little taste and also just get you involved in housing. Yeah, I did um, RA when I was an undergrad. Um, it's great. I think that a lot of people have things that they loved about their living on campus experience and they want to kind of like recreate that and pass that on. And sometimes they have things like, oh, I wish this went a little bit differently. And that's another great way to, you know, pass that on. You're like, oh, I wish my, you know, I wish I would have done this when I was a freshman and you can pass it on to your residents if you want to become an RA. So um, there's a lot of different reasons people become RAs. There's a wealth of experience that you can have as an RA. So it's a great opportunity. I will say I appreciated like all of the different like life advice and like on campus living advice that I got from my RA because I showed up and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just a little baby freshman and I don't know what's going on. Like, what do I do? And my RA was like, hey girl, like here's some <laughs> tips and tricks. Like do this, eat here at this time, avoid this because the lines are gonna be crazy. And I was like, this is so helpful. And she was like, yeah, the RAs have been here for a minute. So that's really helpful um, just to get advice from them and stuff. Um, and cool. your CRE, the building supervisor who supervises the RAs, they're also a really great resource. Um, they're usually master's level, like past, they've done their master's, they've done their undergrad, they have a little bit more life experience, they can be a really great resource for you as well. So, And they will be pretty visible in your halls and pretty yeah. accessible if you just want to say, hey, what's up, my name is Bob. They yeah. will be like, hey. And if you have questions about the RA application, you can always ask them. Um, also, the RA job also pays a great great compensation. Um, you get your room and board paid for, and you also get a stipend. So um, just something to consider as you go throughout your freshman year. So um, I think that's it for our official content. So yeah. does anyone have any questions for us? I still don't see any. Seriously, guys, those come on. In the chat? Oh. Are you guys holding? Oh, anyway. Well, this is like, we have a really great IT department. Um, and um, they actually wired these up. For yeah, they us. wired these microphones for us. Right. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're holding is microphones. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to step out for a second. Okay. Official. You business. guys close out the session. Okay. Well. Oh. We actually do have another question. Okay. Perfect. Is it hard to get a job such as an RA? Are those limited positions? Yeah. So they're without um, like over or under promising how many positions there are, I would say generally speaking like 175. Um, but um, it very much depends on like how many RAs that we have from the year before, how many people apply. Um, so with RA and any RAC and NRHH exec positions, those are limited. Um, so I would say that probably the RA job is probably the most competitive um, and then RIC and NRHH are comparable. Again, kind of depends on like who's stuck around and things like that. So Also, um, being an RA has a really unique interview process. Um, so that's a really great way to, that's, we pick our RAs like well, and we also look on how much you're involved in stuff. So we would definitely recommend like doing all of that stuff too. Yes. So a question asked also is, if you're a leadership RA, do you have to be in lead hogs? Which I know we kind of just talked about, it's a good thing to be a part of that, mm -hmm. but do you have to be? No, you don't have to be a part of um, lead hogs. 
Um, I was actually just talking to someone about this who was interested in applying for um, leadership RA slash SRA position. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, first of all, first and foremost, join Lead Hogs. Though. Yes. <laughs> like, just do it. Um, but if for whatever reason that is not a path that you take, um, I would say be curious about Lead Hogs. Talk to the people that are involved in it. Um, and learn how you know you can offer skills um, that are beneficial to the lead hogs and to your team. Um, so you don't have to be in lead hogs. Um, it obviously is like hugely beneficial because you know where you're coming from. Um, but again, not super required. But just do it anyway. We usually say that lead hogs is like the the jumping point for like getting involved pretty much anywhere on campus. Um, your RAs are usually other student leaders in different capacities as well, and they kind of know like what's up and like what else you could get involved in. Um, and we also do a student leadership panel. So there's just like so many great things that you could learn by being a lead hog that are gonna like help you segue into other um, leadership spaces on campus as well. And if you're already a lead hog, woo woo, class 27, woo! Woo! Um, when will they sign up for shifts for move-in, to help with move-in? Probably about a week and a half, two weeks-ish. Yep, we're working on building those shifts out. Um, there's plenty to go around. You will likely get to do it within your own hall, but if not, um, you can pop on over to your neighbors and volunteer, but there will be plenty of space. You'll have plenty of opportunities to volunteer. So, And also, if you're nervous about volunteering because you're in a new space, um, there will be plenty of leadership RAs, SRAs, fall coordinators that we talked about earlier. All the RAs. Um, there's going to be so many people there to guide you. They're all going to be in, like, orange vests. It'll be very, like, we're not going to leave you hanging. So don't stress about that because there will be plenty of people there to give you some directions. And don't stress if you're not strong because I know I look... <laughs> huge and absolutely yoked but i'm not that strong um so as long as you have a good attitude and you're willing to meet people and kind of help people out we want you there too so yeah perfect signing is that off. all the questions are we signing off how do news reporters sign off um signing off this has been good good night and <laughs> And good and woo pig. <laughs> and remember, this coming month we do have tours of all of the dorms coming up. The first one is tomorrow, and that is a dohi. So tune in at four o'clock. All right, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Go hogs.